Hey everybody, Eric from Locker Lunatics here. Went flea marketing this weekend. Wanted to show you my finds. Sorry I didn't get any flea market footage. We were kind of in a hurry that day. And uh, it was Gordyville, the place that I normally go. If you check some of my other videos, you'll see me in there. Uh, we got a few hauls. Uh, not nothing like super, super awesome, but some pretty good stuff. First of all, we got a whole bunch of Captain Hook figures. And these guys are, you know, the old 90s. What year was this? 1991, I do believe. And I know one of the good ones to have is, is uh, what's his name, uh, Ruffalo there, he's, he, he's a good one. But some of these run around, they run 20 to $30 a piece. I ended up with, uh, let's see how many, eight of the eight figures. I do have a double of this guy and one of their vehicles. Uh, I ended up with, I got all of this for $100. So I think I did pretty good, because like I said, minimum, they're about 20 bucks a piece. So probably doubling my money there. I did get a really nice little uh, muskrat. I think this was 93, I do believe, yeah, 1993. So he's, his bubble, his car's real nice. I got this because I needed this to complete something. I have a very beautiful uh, uh, USS flag I'm trying to complete. And a friend of mine, David Morgan, uh, actually got me this card. And he doesn't normally sell stuff like this, but he sold this to me because he knew I needed it. So thank you so much, David, if you watch the video. Appreciate you. And uh, these came from Jeremy. Uh, if you uh, watch some of the videos, you'll see me buying from his booth. I buy a lot from him there. And then I got a, a little Mandalorian uh, Stormtrooper transport sealed in the box. Kind of cool. I think I paid $20 for that right there. Yeah, I think I think that was 15 or 20 I can't really remember. And then these guys here, guys, look at this. We've got the original He-Man with the Mexican Battle Cat. Now, He-Man himself is Taiwan. He's missing a sword, but I think I have one floating around here. Now we've got a Panthor that's in decent condition with an almost, well, this, this one is complete. Okay, the other one's almost complete. Uh, with the uh, battle armor, well, let me see if I can get it to work. Knowing your toys, of course, right now it's not going to want to work. But it's got the battle armor that was working. Now it's trying to be stubborn, but he's pretty nice. But look at his face. Can you see that face? Look how clean that is. It's normal, those are normally very marred up. Then I got another Panthor with another Skeletor. Now this Skeletor is missing his little loincloth piece, but other than that, he is 100% complete. And check out that face once again. Skeletor's face is normally really beat up, and both of these are beautiful examples of Skeletor's. Okay, then we've got a Spawn vehicle. Now, Spawn is, you know, really down right now, if you, all you toy guys will know, but I seen it, I got it for like 15 bucks, couldn't really pass that up, that's a very, very, very good price. And the, one of the best things I think we got is this right here. This is a 90s sealed Tigerzoid. Now, I'll do a comp on these. This one, you know, the bubble is a little bit yellowed, has a couple little dings, but it is still sealed. And uh, they're all over the board right now, but definitely a good find, definitely a good purchase. I paid $100 for this one. We'll try and pull some comps. I know when the market was up, those were going for $400. Now they're, you know, 200 max, but I'll wait for it to go back up on that one. But then the weirdest, craziest thing we found, guys, check this out. Now, when I first seen these on the market, well, these are a little bit different than the ones I've seen on the market. I was like, those are so stupid. When I seen them at Gordyville, I had to have a pair, and they are stupid. But these are the boots. Ha, ha, ha. These things are so dumb. People are wearing the red ones everywhere. But these are actually the Astro Boy editions, so they're kind of, you know, got a little bit of a cross between gaming and everything else. Uh, Jeremy, actually, the gentleman that I got that stuff from, won these at a video game convention. So that was kind of cool. And he sold them to me, guys. 15 bucks. He had 30, I think 30 on him. He gave them to me for 15 bucks because he'd won them. I looked them up. Some people are asking $600 for the same pair, but realistically they sell for around $100. But they were just cool to have, something I thought I needed to get. You know, if you don't have it, you gotta get it. But anyway, that was about all of our finds this week. And uh, like, I get, like I said, sorry that I missed out on showing you guys the flea market itself. We'll try and do a better job next time. But I wanted to show you our haul. And other than that, we love each and every one of you. Thanks for watching, and we will see you real soon.